Lots of smiles inside the state fairgrounds, along with the sweet smell of funnel cake. The first night of the fair, we're told a big success. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska reports on what people felt extremely safe tonight. One night down, 11 more to go. The Florida State Fair packed. People playing games. I won this little cheetah, little cheetah bear. Kids enjoying the rides. And of course, the food. The corn dogs. The corn dog? The corn dogs. Luis Mung is a Hillsborough County firefighter. He got in for free tonight and is proud for even the smallest gesture to reward the sacrifices that first responders make. We have a lot of guys here tonight making sure that everybody's safe. And, you know, it's just, it's great that, you know, they treat the first responders like this. And, uh, and it's, it's a fantastic feeling for all of us. You hear horror stories, so, but. We're still here on the first day. Brittany Dupree and Emily Ritzy come to the fair every year, but for them, enjoying the rides and food with Luis makes it even better. I said the reason we were excited to come to the fair, if any of the rides breaks, he's going to save us. <laughs> it's the first day, so we're like the guinea pigs, but there's first responders around, so we feel safe. Hillsborough County deputies making people feel safe too, ready to control fights or groups of kids stampeding through the crowds like in years past. The sheriff says enforcement is working. The number of people ejected and arrested last year is down 40%. It's just awesome to be with family and to share something we look forward to doing every year. And it's just a great time. And the cleanup tonight has already begun. They are getting ready for tomorrow, which is student day. We're told there will be more than 200 deputies here and school resource officers as well, trying to make sure everyone has a good time and stay safe. We're at State Fairgrounds tonight. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.